Hello everyone, I'm Tom, a Google Lead Trainer. Interested in setting up new smart home devices? Well, let me show you how using the Google Home app. Hi Tom, someone bought me a Google speaker, but I don't know how to set it up. First of all, you're going to need a device with the Google Home app installed. You can use any Android phone or tablet running Android 6 or later or an iPhone or iPad with iOS 12 or later. Oh, and just to say, you can't set up a device or use the Google Home app on a computer. Unless, of course, you are using a Chromebook that has the Android apps, and then, of course, it's fine. Now, if you don't already have the Google Home app, no worries. You can download it from the Play Store, the Google Play Store, or the App Store. You will need to be connected to the Wi-Fi and have a Google account. If you're already using a Google product or service like Gmail, then that is what we call a Google account. So that one login, of course, one login with Google, and that's to all of your apps and services. You can set up, manage, and control your Google Nest and Chromecast devices, plus thousands of connected home products like lights, cameras, thermostats, and more, all from your Google Home app. I'm gonna demo this using the Nest Mini, but the process is largely the same no matter which Google device you have. First of all, you'll need to plug the device in. Speakers like the Nest Mini should light up, make a chime noise, and even speak to you and tell you to download the Google Home app, uh, a bit like this. Hi, to get started, download the Google Home app on a phone or tablet. Make sure your mobile device is connected to the Wi-Fi network that you'll be using for that device that you're setting up. And then open the Google Home app. Tap the add icon, then set up device followed by new device and follow the in-app steps. It really is as simple as that. Oh, one little pro tip, it's probably worth assigning rooms to your different devices during setup. You can move them later, but if you do it, it just means that you'll know which speaker is which when you're directing your music or telling music to move from one speaker to another or anything like that later. Hey Tom, I bought some lights to control using Google, but how do I set them up? Follow the manufacturer's instructions to set up your new lights. This may involve installing the manufacturer's app and setting up an account within that app. Now, this may be a bit fiddly, but make sure you complete all of the manufacturer's instructions to ensure that your lights are set up correctly. Once you've done all of that, plug in or screw in or turn on your lights, just like so. As before, make sure that your mobile device is connected to the Wi-Fi that you want those lights to work from. And then open the Google Home app. And then at the top left, tap the add or the plus, and then set up device followed by this time works with Google. Tap the logo of the company that manufactured your lights. Again, pro tip, there are lots of these. So there's a search bar at the very top. Maybe just type it in there, the first few letters in there, and then you should find it easier to tap on that manufacturer's name. Follow the instructions to complete the setup. Now you're ready to control your lights. Hey Google, turn off little lamp. Now that's what I call a light bulb moment. Hi Tom, I've got more than one Google speaker. How can I get them all to play the same song? All you have to do is make sure that your mobile device is connected to the same Wi-Fi and linked to the same account as your Chromecast or speaker or display, and then tap on the Google Home app. At the top left, tap add and then create speaker group. Tap on each device that you want to add to the group and a little tick will appear next to each device you've selected. Tap next and enter the name of your group. I'm gonna call mine Sneaky Blinders and then hit save. Now you're ready for room to room tunes. All you have to say is, hey Google, play music on Sneaky Blinders. Hi Tom, I'm not really a morning person. Being able to control devices with my voice instead of stumbling to the light switch has made things better, but is there an easier way? Google Assistant can get multiple things done automatically with routines. You can schedule a routine for when you need it or start it anytime with a command. You can also set up a home and away routine. No, not that home and away. Home and away routines will start when the first person comes home or when everyone's away. Let's start by taking a look at a good morning routine. Open the Google Home app, tap routines, and then choose the routine that you want to edit and tap the boxes next to the actions that you want. As you can see, I've set up 
a routine to turn on the lights, start my coffee machine, read out my reminders, and play music. Let's give it a whirl. Hey Google, good morning. It's 3.39 p.m. By the way, you need to tell everyone they can set a routine to start when they oh, silence their alarm. Have a good one. So there you have it, a quick rundown of how to start, expand, and control your connected home using the Google Home app. If you wanna know more, just head to support.google.com and don't forget to click the little bell to get notified about the latest videos. Thanks for watching, bye.